I am Brandon Suarez, in case you're pro sitting back here with another amazing reaction. This time, react to some more degenerosity uh, internet trends. And let's just say uh, there's some trends on the internet that's. Well, some of them, most of them are very questionable. Uh, I just, some people just do it for clout, and there's some people, like, they, out of curiosity, they still do it. And, like, y'all go into straight to the hot ones. But anyway. If you like any of this content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe to D Generosity. I will leave the original link to this video down below. So watch it uninterrupted. Please my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Follow me on those social platforms. Link to my cash off. Feel free to donate whatever you want to donate. That's money. Don't this time as well. Same thing with super things, but by donating, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and let me know y'all rock with the reaction content. Rock with the channel and rock with your boy. The friendly dude, Apocalypse. And. Alright, we're here with some more degenerosity in our trends. Well, let's go. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> the internet is a haven of many things. Meme videos, music videos, X videos. The World hey, Wide yo. Web is a never-ending amount of information and media. And the biggest part of it, social media, is the way all of us can interact with each other no matter where we're from. Yeah. And one of the most popular ways we interact online and relate with each other is with trends. When I Google the definition of internet trends, it defines it as a post or an idea that is hyped or popularized for a certain period of time. But I'd more describe it as people doing goofy sh just because it's fun at trends. It defines it as a post or... In a social media, a trend refers to a post topic or idea that is hyped or popularized for a certain uh, certain period of time. Huh. Idea that is hyped or popularized yeah, for a certain period of time. But I'd more describe it as people doing goofy sh just because it's fun and cool. The yeah. trend usually started with someone random online doing a funny dance or making up a challenge or whatever, really. That person's video goes viral, then everybody who got a phone or a camera start participating. And the trend mm -hmm. continues to grow and cement itself in pop culture until a multi-billion dollar company or politician joins in on it, making it uncool instantly. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes, sadly. I don't know why people do that, but it makes real sense. Killing the trend overnight, making us move on to the next big thing. This is the outcome for almost all trends and challenges. It's inevitable. All good things must come to an end. And as far as my opinion on them, I like most of them. As much as I hate on everything really i very much enjoy watching the latest trends mm. they're usually very funny or at least entertaining even the dumb ones like the crate challenge i like oh. i mean oh. you never catch me doing that death trap back then but i sure was dying of laughter from others failing at it i don't yeah i was too couldn't know the fact that like dude y'all know this is dangerous like stupidity dangerous and where the hell does everybody got all those crates from? I never understood where they got it from. Any of them. Be mind stupid from. trends or challenges when it's amusing. If a real life Hunger Games challenge started, I'd binge watch compilations of it. The trends or challenges I don't like though are the ones I don't understand. The ones that make me think, why would you do this to yourself? Who raised you? The Skull Breaker Challenge, where the challenge is you trip your friend on their back of their head and they get CTE. That, that's the challenge. The Benadryl Challenge, where the challenge was you eat a bunch of Benadryl, then die. The Tide Pod Challenge, just the names alone yeah. are dead giveaways. You're gonna die doing them. Crazy thing, I never hear of half of these challenges till someone kicks the bucket from it. The news talking about local teen dies from the drink a gallon of elephant nut and butt juice TikTok challenge. And I'm thinking, who the f doing? Yeah, and the point they're like, he was so brave. He was 10 years old. He had dreams. Like, apparently he didn't dream hard enough because he did the stupid shit. Where did they obtain elephant ass juice? How did they even find out this challenge exists? Making me think they made it up. They're just trying to get freaky with an elephant. Those are the dumb challenges I don't be getting. You really trying to get viral that bad? It can't be that hard. Especially if you're a white girl. All you gotta do is say an onomatopoeia of you giving head, then gooners will make you set for life. It could all yeah. be so simple. But you rather make it hard by doing the, the Ooh, wombat the challenge dog. or whatever the kids be doing Yo, nowadays. Dog. Treads, on the other hand, I look at them a little different. To me, it could be picked up on in everyday life, like in the way people dress, the way they talk, which new crypto coin to invest in, how to steal a car. Trends are very various in its topics. And one trend I always thought was dumb was the money glitches, like the Cash App and recently the Chase Bank money glitch, where if you don't know, 
Yeah, I never like this. Is actually, surprisingly, this is my first time hearing about the whole uh, Cash App Joe thing. But the trace, yes, definitely was very recently, and people were just, just people just being stupid, very stupid. People were able to write fake checks and deposit a bunch of money into their account. But turns out, you actually weren't allowed to do that. So all the people who did do it, they weren't showering in money, but instead took a bath in debt. Some of y'all thought you could actually walk away with free money like it's a Mr. Beast challenge. Nah, yeah. nigga, that was an unannounced loan that you yep. have to pay back immediately. Uh -huh. There ain't no such thing as free money nope. unless you rob people or scamming grandma. Like, did we learn nothing from that Cash App glitch last year, which was basically the same thing? Now, I ain't gonna lie, I felt victim for those free Cash App glitches in the past, like in high school. I'd get those ads, free 500 via Cash App if you answer this survey and send us your account information. And me back then, being dumb and broke, I was like, shit, sign me up, I can finally cop a PS5! I fill up the survey and send it over, and then they say my money will be there within a few business days. Next day, I then look at my cash app to find some nigga, probably named Eduardo, spending my cash app money on FUBU! I ain't signed up for this, where my free 500? Since then, I never trusted any kind of free money glitches that be trending. Wow. Although, I'm pretty sure I just got scammed. But I digress. How some of y'all fall for these free money glitches is beyond me. Y'all just broke. You should still have some sense in you. But now you have no sense on you. Just know the next time a Wells Fargo free money glitch pops up, don't participate in it. It's a trap. Don't be stupid. Which takes me to this other thing, which is not really an internet trend or a challenge or anything like that. I just hate seeing people do it, and I have no idea how I'd bring this up in any future video. But cave exploring is the dumbest hobby I've ever witnessed. I see videos and pictures of these dudes going through dark, small ass caverns where they have to wiggle like a worm for sometimes miles, wiggling on rocks, dirty water, and bat piss. And I'm just thinking, why? <laughs> Who is this fun? Okay, when you put it in that perspective, yeah, it, it does seem dumb. It does. Who is this appealing to? This is just torture. There are some weird hobbies where I can see the appeal to. Skydiving looks like okay, fun. Lemon parties, I love lemonade. But this? with this where's the enjoyment you're in a claustrophobic space you can barely see or breathe and yeah. you're like that for it's not hours. Guy friendly. and worse yet the payoff because after you suffered in that journey wiggling through the cave and rocks <laughs> you know what's gonna be on the other side of all that more rocks it's a cave what you think you're gonna discover batman not to mention you have to go back out nah you might as well live there and get comfortable start learning the bats language they nice when you get to know them for mm -hmm. real they ain't nothing fun about this to me and, and no offense to the 20 people on the planet that like doing this you do you bro but me personally i like not dying you feel me yeah. very huge tangent but i needed that for what my next topic is because this has got to be the most literal brain rot shit i've ever seen you probably already know it it's that galaxy gas a flavor of nitrous gas. oxide that the company advertises is only meant to be used for cooking which i'm not accusing them of anything but i think they know who their main audience is now i'm not accusing Don't. them of anything but why i find a video of someone supposedly repping them advertising it at tp 2024 a convention that's done for businesses to network their products to people looking to invest in them but the thing is this convention is known for advertising stuff you'd only see in a smoke shop it's on their website it's on their ig that that's their main target i'm not accusing them of anything though but also if you look through the tpe website and look through the list of their sponsors you can find them right next to geek extracts right there mm. uh, i'm not accusing them of anything though because technically anybody could advertise whatever product they're selling at yeah. this convention but I'm not accusing them of anything, though. But I doubt I see Gordon Ramsay trying to sell spatulas at this kind of convention. I'm not accusing them of anything, though. Yeah, this is meant for cooking. But most people aren't using it for that. Most people are using it to get zooted. Kind of already said this at the end of my last vid. That stuff literally kills brain cells. But at this point, I feel like everybody already knows that. Niggas just don't care. I'm stating the obvious. Feels like I'm telling people, don't eat the paint chips off the wall when saying this. Like, no, duh. We all know the harms of it by now. But dudes yeah. still out here buying and posting their gas on their socials, showing off as if they're doing a money spread or something. N niggas flexing being retarded. Folk making Pretty jokes saying the CIA won. But I genuinely think they have. I thought people would know better by now not to do this stuff. Like, have y'all not seen Requiem for a Dream? 
or any episode of Ren and Stippy because ain't no way they're sober making that. We no. already know the effects that these things have on the mind and body, yet dudes are still using galaxy gas. And in my head at this point, it's just natural selection. You know, yeah, someone once said, don't save her, she yeah, don't want to be saved. saved, which I view that quote meaning, mind your business, because you already told him a million times not to. Damn so right. let them rot. I believe Genghis Khan said that. Genghis <laughs> Khan. I ain't got much more to add on this situation that hasn't already been said a million times. But if you're using gas, you dumb as a brick. Everybody around you think that too. I could say this is the worst generation when it comes to trends, but that's such a boomer take. There's been stupid people doing stupid things in every era, including the ones I look back on fondly. But this is up there, not gonna lie. And that's all I really wanted to say. Man, I just be talking my bitch. Why y'all watch me? Hey, hey, I didn't tell you to stop looking. <laughs> okay, stop looking. I gotta use the bathroom. Well, you know, get that red. In conclusion, bye. I just lost my You really? How <laughs> <laughs> two, uh, one plus two plus three equals six? Make it make sense. Uh, degenerosity is. Some type of insane, but I love it. Uh, but that's the end of the video. And let me know in the comments down below what trend that make you more more thinking like, okay, this is like literally natural selection. So let me know in the comments down below. But like I said, that's the end of the video. So if you like any of this content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe to D Generosity. I will leave the original link to this video down below. So question uninterrupted. Uh, so until next time, please take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Stay safe. Stay warm. Little questions is everything they know about you